Welcome everybody to this edition of Attention Talk Video. I'm your host, ADHD and Attention Coach Jeff Copper, and I'm here today to talk to you about procrastination and kind of the fundamentals, the root causes of why I procrastinate. Recently I got an email in the mail, actually an email in my uh, inbox, um, about a neat, little, a neat little app, and it's designed to, uh, to, to set up a situation where you have one security password, because on the internet, I don't know about you, but I've got dozens if not hundreds of usernames and passwords. And in the uh, email, there was a very clear video that I went to, and it was very, very articulate. It's really easy to name or use a password such as a pet or where you went to school or something like that, but it's really not very secure. On the other hand, uh, very secure passwords are difficult to remember. And the app was designed to say, hey, listen, we're going to store all these in one place, and you're just going to have to remember one password um, number. Sounds like a pretty easy task to go download this. But for me, I find tasks like this can be overwhelming because of the following. Number one, who are these people? I'm trusting them with my security. With all the stuff that's on the internet, with people hacking through credit card companies, this, that, and the other, how do I know that they're not going to be hacked and get exposure to everything that I've got, particularly when I can't even remember everything I've got? So there's some research that needs to take place there and a level of trust that needs to be gained. And who knows how long that's going to take just for that. The next level of this particular task is to say, this is an app. Certainly it would work maybe on my iPhone or iPad, but I have a distributed work product. I have a, a, a Mac and I've got a PC. How does it work on that? Would I have access to it? It's not really clear on the website. It's not really clear on the video. So research is going to be required for me to go do that. Furthermore, I know a little bit about technology and the question is, do those passwords reside on my device or do they reside on the cloud somewhere? That's really, really important for me because at some point in time when I need that password, I need, I need to be able to access it. And if for some reason I can't get internet access, I'm stuck. I can't retrieve it. So how is that going to interact with all my devices and uh, my PC? Also, what the, the, I guess the complexity of all this stuff is I'm actually engineering my world on multiple devices. And it's really never demonstrated out there. So this one simple task, at least seems simple to me, could, could mean hours, hours of research and trial and error trying to engineer it. And what's worse is when I get through, it might not work the way it sounds. It might be more difficult or it might not just work for me. These are the things that I find often underlying procrastination. So what do you do about it? What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go call some people, um, some friends of mine, and do some research. Ideally, I'm looking for somebody who's already tried it or somebody who can demonstrate it to me. That way I can cut to the chase. I can assure you that will take a long time for me to find, but which is better? Um, just networking and talking around and trying to find somebody or spending hours and hours and hours of frustration getting my PhD on something that doesn't work. These are real dilemmas as to why we procrastinate and I think they're actually legitimate. But if you stop and pause and, and think about the root cause of what you've got to do and then say, hmm, what am I going to do? I'm going to go try to find somebody who can already demonstrate this to me. A second rule of thumb, by the way, I've learned over the years, particularly in technology, you never want to be the first. Always be the second or third. Let the first movers figure out all the bugs and show you how it all kind of comes together as to pioneering that. I've lost weeks, months, probably even years chasing technology that didn't work. So the point of this video is really if you're procrastinating, pause and notice what's underlying what you're really doing because there's usually a very good legitimate reason for the procrastination. Understanding what it is, number two, is hey, take a break. Just don't beat yourself up for it and realize there's a good reason. And two is once you understand the fundamentals like this is going to take a while, I don't know where to get the information, you can pause and focus on how you're going to get the information in the most efficient way. We hope you've enjoyed this uh, edition of Attention Talk video. Subscribe to our channel and go to digcoaching.com forward slash ATV and download our favorite top 10 Attention Talk video videos. Take care.